I feel like you really need to get everything you've ever wanted only to realize that it won't make you happy. And you might be thinking, Alex, that's not true. Alex, I know that success won't make me happy. I know that money won't make me happy. I know that whatever it is that I chase outside of myself, I know that it won't make me happy if I'm not happy with who I am. And yeah, I know this too. It makes sense, logically, right? But at the same time, our biological need, our, our, almost our ego, I would say, sees other people achieving the things that we want to achieve, achieving the things that we don't have. And we think to ourselves, how could we believe that all these people, these people that have the things that, we, that they have that we don't, how could they be so unhappy? We don't believe them because we don't have what they have. We've placed so much of our sense of self onto the achievement of something else. And that only in achieving that thing, only in achieving everything that you've ever wanted, in getting that love, that relationship, that money, that success, that fame, whatever it is that you want, it is only in achieving that that you realize that it was for nothing. Well, not for nothing. You got what it is that you wanted, but it won't make you happy, not truly happy. And no matter what, whatever it is that you achieve, you're still you. You're still stuck being you. That, that worthless feeling that you get, that won't go away no matter what it is that you achieve. But I still think that it's worth going for what you want. I still think it's worth it to work hard to get whatever it is that you want, even if it's superficial, even if it's even if you know that it won't make you happy. I still think that it's worth it. Because at the end of the day, it's hard to believe. If you don't have everything they've ever wanted, it's hard to believe other people. It's hard. Because you're coming from a place of lack. And when you're coming from a place of lack, it's, it's almost incomprehensible to feel that abundance. It's difficult because you don't. You don't have anything. You don't have anything that you want. And so it's tough to place yourself in, in the position, in the, in the mind of somebody else who has everything. And so I still think that you should work hard. I still think that you should achieve all the things that you want to achieve. I, even, if, even if you know, even if logically you know it won't make you happy, you know it won't make you feel better about yourself. But it is, only, it is only in achieving those things. It is only in working hard, doing everything that you possibly can to get the things that you've ever wanted that you realize that you never needed it in the first place. It is only then that you realize it won't make you truly happy. And so I watched a video from uh, XQC, which is really funny, but I love XQC because we come from the same place. So, <laughs> But he said that one of the biggest mistakes you can make is to place the happiness on something else on the achievement of something that is outside yourself, right? And that when you get everything that you want, that is when you realize that you are actually empty, that you feel empty, and it will feel worse. And that the process of going through life and, and going for the things that you dream of, it is in spending time working hard at what you do without necessarily placing your, hedging your bets on the future you, being happy after achieving all it is that you've wanted to achieve and then you look at somebody like excuse who says that and you think well what the fuck like you, you make a shit ton of money fucking streaming and doing all of this shit why should i believe you and then on the other side you say yeah obviously of course it won't make you happy but you still need to 
go through that experience yourself to know fully and truly to completely understand where it is that he is coming from because logically we could see yeah of course yeah no shit's not gonna make you happy but there's that part of us inside part of us that has a little bit of envy in a way not necessarily about the fame or the success or anything but there's something there that part of you wishes you had and so whatever that is for you don't let that part of you that knows that whatever it is that you want to achieve that you know it won't make you happy don't let that stop you from doing anything that you want to do because although you know that although logically it makes sense now you know that you can enjoy the process of working hard at whatever it is that you want to work hard at, whatever it is that you want to achieve. And yeah, maybe it won't make you happy, but at least you've achieved something. You've worked hard at something. And you didn't let yourself back from experiencing all there is to this life. From the journey that is figuring out who you are. And it is only in achieving everything you've ever wanted where you realize that you not only never needed it in the first place, that it will not make you happy, that it will not make you feel better about yourself, that it will not fix your sense of self-worth. But then... It won't only just be a thought that lingers in your mind. You will truly feel it within you. There are many things in my life that I've I put my mind to, to try to achieve. And then once I achieved it, I felt the same way. I felt that same sense of self-worth. No matter whatever it is that you achieve, you'll still be you. You'll still feel the same way. But then that's when the real work begins. That's when you can finally look at yourself and say, okay, I need to change something about who I am fundamentally so I can be happy in the present moment. And I truly believe, at least for me, that you need to go through that experience to get everything you've ever wanted to go through that. And I've been, I'm the type of person that I put my mind to something and I achieve it and I do it. And then I feel like shit because I think, well, I thought this was going to help me <laughs> feel better. I thought this was going to clear my mind and it never does. But it is in through living life and trying things and, and achieving things that you get better at learning who you are is by challenging yourself as much as you possibly can. It is by achieving things, working hard at things, and not limiting yourself. Because when you say, oh, I don't want to do this because I know it won't make me happy, you're just limiting yourself of experiencing what it means to work hard at something and feel unhappy. So it's either you stay unhappy or you work hard and then you, you're still unhappy. You got it. Might as well work hard <laughs> and get what you want and realize it won't make you happy than it is to just stay the same. Right? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, it's just a few thoughts I've, I've had uh, in the last few days that I wanted to share. So um, again, this is just my opinion. This is just what I've observed through my life and through seeing other people's lives and I just wanted to share. Um, I don't know if anybody relates or has similar thoughts, but um, I just wanted to share that today. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments. Chat with me. I'll reply back, most likely. <laughs> and yeah, thanks and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>